As the Battle of Lexington and Concord ensued on April 19, 1775, and the famous shot heard round the world marked the start of the American Revolution, the people of Pepperell began to rally to support the cause for independence. As the Minutemen of Pepperell, Groton, and Hollis, led by Colonel William Prescott, marched to Concord's North Bridge and on to Boston, rumors were circulating throughout the town that British spies were passing through the area. It is said that Prudence Wright of Pepperell, known for her unrelenting commitment to the rebel cause, overheard a treasonous plan while visiting her mother in Hollis. There she heard Leonard Whiting, a known British loyalist, and her brother devising a plot to be carried out that evening. Prudence quickly spread word from house to house and gathered 30 to 40 women, collecting pitchforks, tools, and any muskets they could find. They headed to the bridge at Jewett's Fordway, dressed in their absent husband's clothes, disguised as militia, and they named Prudence Wright their captain. The bridge was known to be the direct route through the area, and it was not a covered bridge at that time, so the women waited until dark, hid in the tall grasses and pine trees surrounding the bridge, and awaited their captain's command. As the sound of horses approached, Prudence commanded the riders to stop and submit to search. Treasonable dispatches from Canada to the British in Boston were found in the boot of Leonard Whiting. He was captured and detained in Pepperell until he was delivered to the Committee of Safety in Groton, and the messages were sent to the Committee of Safety in Charlestown. The account of Prudence Wright is based on oral history, and while it isn't clear which of Prudence's brothers was involved in the incident, one grandmother recounts that Prudence's brother Thomas cowardly fled the bridge area upon hearing the women and was never seen again, while another grandmother recounts that Prudence's brother Samuel was captured and later left the colony and never returned. Historic town meeting records in Pepperell show that Leonard Whiting's guard, also known as Prudence Wright's guard, was perhaps the first American women to be paid for their services in the war. It was a revolutionary war that created a free nation based on the ideals of liberty and equality. Let's remember and recognize these brave women from Pepperell and their important contribution to our freedom.